five, six, or seven, but lots of them there going.
Wow. He'll hit the scale, make it official. Just won the Sportsman Sprint 8 feature just a little bit ago. And you know the number of guys who have been able to double up stats are names that are going down in the record books for doing stuff. Old school guys like Houston and Burrow. Tonight. Yeah, here he comes. Levi Hillier doubles up and an impressive 30 laps to make up his first 360 sprint car win. My goodness, congratulations, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really know where to go that race. I just felt really good up top and I saw Trey show his nose a couple times in the bottom, but I just felt like I could keep his, a lot of momentum up through the top. So, um, yeah. So we had an open red and pretty much saw your dad talking to you the entire time during the open red. What was he saying to you? Did you guys do any adjustments to the car? Yeah, just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, just keep my momentum up and stuff like that and wheel spin. Um, but yeah, we took a little air pressure out. We didn't really do much just because he didn't want to give me a completely different race plan halfway through the race. But um, yeah, I can't thank everyone enough. My mom, my dad, Justin, my sister, Redeem Racing, Sage Group, Racing Dean Foundation, Factory Cane Shots, Bell Helmets. And just everyone who makes this happen. Now, holding off Trey starts is no easy task. You just did that for 30 laps. You did that for 30 laps up high. How comfortable do you get continuously just lap after lap hitting the top set of gadget speed? Yeah, I mean, I felt like the cautions didn't really play good for me. I was finally get rolling and get good momentum and stop getting tight on the top, and then we'd have a caution. But yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Well, Levi Hillier picks up his first 360 win here at Gadget Speed Wire. And Trey Smart, man, you gave that about everything you could. One and two looked like probably your best part of the racetrack. You could pull almost with and they're out of two but just couldn't quite get there yeah I, that's it i gave it all i had there uh, he was really fast and uh i felt like we would get into a rhythm or you know we get to traffic and we maybe get a shot and then uh you know caution comes out and we were not good at restarts at all i had to i had to time it uh because we just weren't really taking off um so yeah i was pedaling for all i was worried trying everything i could um i tried you know running the bottom running the middle running right in behind him and uh, we just couldn't quite get there. Um, so, you know, maybe circumstances were a little different or traffic goes a different way, we might have a shot, but um, in speed track, I don't think, you know, I think it would have taken more than, than we had to get him. He was really good tonight. Well, trip starts, gives it a heck of an effort, and comes up just a little bit short. And Cam Smith rounds out in the podium, a quiet, just worked your way throughout the field, had to get by Jesse Schlottfeldt, and numerous others, Jason Solwall there, and you're out of the podium. Yeah, you know, uh, starting to fit there, uh, just trying to okay, catch up to these guys, you know. Um, with the front row like this, it's uh, tough to catch them. Well, Cam Smith rounds out the podium, and before we get done, Levi, we have a special bowling ball. One of 300, courtesy of Rick Wilski. So check that one out when you get out of the box. One of 300, it is a strikeout cancer bowling ball here. 